What's up guys and welcome back to Gripping and Ripping. So we just showed up at the pond that we were going to fish today and they've closed down the whole boat ramp. I guess they're going to renovate it and uh, try to fix it up for those who have bass boats. So uh, unfortunately we had to switch up plants on the fly and uh, we're going to go hit up another pond. Um, I've fished it before. I haven't had much luck here at this pond but today we're going to change that. I got a brand new rod and reel today super excited to try that out today the reel is a loose speed spool 2 slp and the rod is going to be a tpx speed stick hoping to catch and hook up on something big with that but i am going to throw a weedless jig with a um, we'll go with a, a fluke trailer probably and um got a rattling jig so try to make a little bit of sound attract something over there to it and uh hook up today with it so we're gonna head over to the other spot, launch this kayak, get out there in the middle of the pond, and we're gonna hook up with some fish today. Guys, it's a little bit windier out here than I originally anticipated, so I'm gonna need you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that thumbs up, and uh, drop me a comment in case I don't make it back. We're gonna get this bad boy in the water and catch some fish. All right, here we go with the new rod. Let's see how it is. Ah, oh, it's smooth. All right, guys. So this is the one with the uh, the jig with a fluke trailer. I went with some some natural colors. It's pretty deep out here. I just dropped the anchor down, and I think we're sitting at like maybe 10 to 12 feet at this spot. Last time I was out here, I don't remember it being that deep. So, I don't know if the water level is pretty high right now or what. Somebody over there with a, a loud pick me up truck. pretty sunny out here so we might have some uh, some fish moving into a little bit shallower water it's actually still really deep where I'm at I think I'm still in about six to eight foot of, of water and when I say really deep that's that's pretty deep for around here um, I understand a lot of you guys might have some pretty deep water but for us to to get in a 10 foot pond is uh, actually pretty daggone deep around here so it's like 50 degrees out here today. It has been 50 for the last two days. And last time I came out, uh, after a string of a couple warm days, uh, we were able to get uh, get lucky and get hooked up on some fish. So I'm actually pretty hopeful for today. And um, found a spot over here in the corner where the wind's not too bad. So we should be able to sit here for a little bit and uh, try to get on some fish.
Guys, just had a little bit of a fiasco out here. Um, team Pickerel came up, snapped me off on the wacky rig. So I throw the jig back in and less than two feet from the boat, it, uh, it comes up, jumps out of the water and um, grabs a hold of it. I, <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, it scared me. It came out of the water like two feet from the boat. Um, scared me a bit and uh, I got all hung up on all these trees over here. I don't know if you guys can see all this structure, but I've seen a lot of movement over here. So we're gonna hang out here for a few minutes and uh, see if we can pull some of these fish off. Come on, try it again. Take it again. We're on guys, there we go. Got ourselves a decent sized bass. There we are. Nice pretty bass. There we go. That's what I'm talking about guys. Been out here for probably two hours now and uh, not having much luck at all. And then this guy comes out of nowhere. Awesome. Made the whole day worth it because uh, we plan on going to a different pond today and uh weren't able to do it so uh, come over here to a pond we've only fished once and last time i was here i didn't catch any fish and it was it was the fall i fully expected to come out here and just hammer it and uh didn't get anything but today success We're on guys, got another one. Another good one. I think we got them. This one's a lot lighter color. There we go. So again with the wacky rig, I've just been slow playing it off the bottom, uh, kind of letting it sit for three, four seconds at a time then twitching it, uh, letting it sit another three or four seconds. And then uh, it seems to be doing the trick. Uh, we've been we've been over here for maybe five minutes and we've caught two nice sized bass at this point. So I'm excited. I'm gonna stick it out for another 15, 20 minutes. Guys, I'm freezing out here. I did not come prepared for this wind and uh, it's been throwing me across the pond all day. And uh, like I said, this this is what we're after, and um, now I'm excited. So let's get this one back in the water. And uh...
bad one, guys. Dangle it down here a little bit more, see if he'll take it again. Cast, last cast. Well, guys, last cast of the day, like I said, GoPro died, and uh, guess what? We hooked up, but it's a uh, decent sized chain pickerel. And um, if you look closely, you can see uh, snap my line clear off the hook still in her mouth. So I'm gonna be working on that for a minute and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so good way to end the day. Uh, that is a nice chain pickerel. I don't know if you guys can tell how big it is, but uh, I'd say she's probably 18 inches long. So I'm happy with that. And uh, a fish is a fish, guys. Uh, get a nice little release on this girl. Uh, she's definitely trying to get away. There we go. There we go. Nice way to end the day, guys. With a beautiful view and a fish. One thing I want to ask you guys right off the bat. Anybody else that, uh, that makes videos, just tell me what you do about these GoPro batteries. Because I'll tell you what happened. I mean... I, I hooked up on uh, multiple fish today and we missed the hook sets because GoPro battery is dying. And uh, I don't know, if you guys have any tips for me, you, you just gotta let me know, okay? So leave, leave a comment and let me know what to do about these GoPro batteries, because I need some help. Now, if you haven't already, uh, like the video today, subscribe to the channel and uh, hit that notification bell so you get to see all my future videos.